Hello everyone, hopefully you had a very Merry Christmas and we're back with another Friday new product post. If you didn't check out last week's product post, be sure to do so. We had over 400 new products, so they're very awesome. And this week we have some more new awesome products, so let's check them out. This is a PCB that mimics a breadboard. So let's say you're prototyping something and you throw it onto the breadboard and it works and everything's good. Then you have to rip it all out and solder it into something. Well, what if you just had a PCB that was the same size, form factor, and everything as the breadboard, you could just start by soldering into that, and then when you're done with it, you have it all soldered into one little board. It's a pretty simple little concept. It's just a um, through-hole version of a breadboard, so instead of actually plugging in the pins, you solder them in place, and it's a little bit simpler way to prototype a permanent thing. So check out the new through-hole protoboard. This is the TSL 2561 Luminosity Breakout. As the name suggests, it is a breakout board for measuring luminosity. What is luminosity? Luminosity is essentially the amount of light that is present. So this actually has an I2C interface. You connect into your favorite microcontroller and you get to see the lux that this sees. A lot of people might be confusing the difference between lux and lumens. Lumens is a term that is uh, more popular and you hear it a lot more often. Lumens is the amount of light output that something has. So if you have like a 60 watt light bulb, I think it's something like 1200 lumens, that is the total amount of light that comes off of the light. Now the difference between lumens and lux is lux is a small segment of that portion of light. So if we have this light source that is uh, yay big and the total amount of it is a thousand lumens, but we're only viewing a very small section of it, we're not, you know, really far back seeing all the lumens hitting it, then we would be viewing the lux. There's a lot of different formulas that you can use to calculate this. If we have a um, light source like a light bulb, it is a stationary light source like that, and as light comes off of it, the surface area of that light increases exponentially as it gets further away from the light source. So therefore, when you're really in close to the light bulb, you have a much higher value of lux than you would if you're further away. We also have a full hookup guide for this that gets you started with an Arduino library, so be sure to check that out. Next up, we've got a new LilyPad product. This is the LilyPad Design Kit. The LilyPad Design Kit is very similar to the SIK for Arduino, and that is all the pieces you need to start playing around and prototyping with LilyPad. Uh, first up, we've got this nice big piece of white felt that you can use for sewing and all that good stuff. Um, we've got a couple of the different multicolored LED strips. So these are just um, the strips of the lily pad that you just snap them apart and you can sew these in or solder to them. Um, we've got a set of needles. We've got some snaps that you can use to sew in and have some conductive snaps. And of course, in addition to the thread, we also have three full bobbins of conductive thread. We've got all the coin cell batteries you need. We also have a little twinkle and an on and off switch and a button. In addition, we have a bunch of these lily pad coin cell holders. These actually have a switch on them and little tabs that you can sew them into things. And we also have several of the unswitched battery holders as well. And lastly, it also comes with a piece of conductive fabric. Now, this kit has online documentation. So if you go to www.sparkfun.com slash lilypad design kit, it will bring you to all the different tutorials and all the different projects that you can make with all these pieces. So there you have it. This is our Friday new product post. We've got the LilyPad design kit. We've got the TSL 2561 Luminosity Breakout. And we've also got the Proto Board. Also, be sure to check out the Robotics 101 video, episode two. This one is Angular Motion. Thanks for watching and see you next week.